In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the new style from Template Genie in the new style builder to quickly create new styles. To get to the new style from Template Genie, if you have the style builder open, but you do not have a style loaded, you can go to the main workspace and choose new style from template. Or you can go to the menu bar, file, new, from template. So if we go and select new from template, what's going to happen is we're going to load the new style from template genie. Now the first pane of this genie asks you to select what template you'd like to use for your style. Currently we've got gradient and mobile. For this example, let's go with gradient. So we click Next, and what this does is it brings us to the next pane of the Genie, which is the pane on which we select the adjustments we'd like to make to the style in order to personalize it to the specific project. And what you'll see here is that we have a drop-down right here that says Style, and if we take a look at this, we can see it has, says Style on Icons. What this does is it allows us to switch between editing the colors in the style, which is sort of the, all of the backgrounds and the gradients and stuff like that, and just editing the colors on the icons, which are all of these icons which make up the style. So to start with, let's go take a look at the style. And what you'll see is that we have a default color here. What this means is that there's specific groups of colors. For instance, the highlight color, the air color, and the lock UI color. But every other color sort of falls into the default color group in this style, which are all of the other backgrounds here. And currently they're gray, which is not very interesting. So let's say we want to make an orange style. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the hue slider here and move to orange. And you'll see that's still gray. And the reason for this is because we don't have any saturation currently in this color. So if we take the saturation and we bump it up, what you'll see is we bump it up, let's say, to about 50, which is right about there you'll see that now we've got sort of an orangish tinge, a very noticeable orangish tinge, to our entire style. But we also currently still have this blue color for the selection and highlight, which is controlled by this color group right here. So if we go take a look at that, let's say we don't really want orange. It doesn't, I mean, we don't really want it to be blue with this orange. So what we do is we can easily just get the default color group's adjustments just by clicking this button and saying copy, and what's going to happen is it's copied over that. But now we'd like this to be more noticeable, the highlight to really stand out, so let's just bump the saturation up to 100. What this does is it makes it very orange. It basically, 0 would be gray, and 100 is uh, the full hue. But it's now also a little bright, I think. So let's just take the luminancy, which is sort of how light or dark it is, and move it down. Uh, when adjusting luminancy, you don't need to do much. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. So we just moved it down three, and you already noticed that's quite a bit darker. So let's say we're sort of liking the way that that's looking for the colorization of the sort of background elements of the style. But we're not happy that the icons here, the main sort of icons that are used throughout the style, are gray, which isn't really what we want. So we can just go to this drop down here and select icons to adjust the icon colors. And we're happy enough with the fact that the deletes are all red and the air color is red and the help would be blue and the warning, any warnings would be orange. That's fine by us, but we'd like these sort of, gray, all the gray icons to be a little bit more orange. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move up this to the orange and we're going to bump up the saturation. And what you'll see is that now we've actually got colorization on all of those icons. So if we're happy with that, um, we can just say, let's create this style. And now that we've uh, chosen all the settings, we need to choose what name we want to say that it should be. So for the time being, let's just, I've already created one version of my orange style. Let's say I want to replace that. So I'll just select that and say, create and say, yes, let's save over that. So. What's happening now is it's going through and it's generating all of those adjustments and putting them into the style sheet and colorizing the icons. And finally what it's going to do is actually load the style. And what you'll see here in a moment is that the style will load. And if we go take a look at the grid tab, for instance, grid portion of the design mode, you'll see that we've got this orange style, which took us moments to create. 